Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here. Today we are stealing people's soul with Dusnor. Now this Pokemon I've actually been requested to use, but I want to use it anyway because I love this Pokemon. Honestly, if they gave this Mon just, you know, more HP, which can be said about most ghost types, it'd be a lot better. But Dusnor is pretty unique in the sense that it has ice and fire coverage. And we know anything, or if we know anything about BDSP, it's that if you have ice and fire coverage, you can be used in OU. On top of that, Dusnor has priority for Latios when Shadow Sneak, and it also has Earthquake for Heatran. So overall, should be a decently fun Pokemon. Got two teams on my website, Pokemon.com, if you guys want to use them. And uh, we're going to be using two different sets. First one's Offensive Life for Big Shots, Arceus K. Second one is a mean look set that I created that I thought would be pretty decent with this Pokemon. Uh, just know right here, his role is to live a hit from Infernape, Garchomp, and also outspeed Scizor and knock it out. If you guys do like these videos, make sure you leave a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm on my way to 300k, that is my end of the year goal. I have a Choice Band Lucario, and this is the best game for Choice Band Lucario I've ever seen in my life. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like, I'm, I'm loving it here, man. I'm really loving it here. Uh, rocks up go a long way versus them. Ampapalm is really good too when you fight offense, and Lucario just being able to check everything is real sick. So, I'm trying to think. How do I want to start this off? Because I definitely want to use its Shadow Sneak and Fire Punch stuff to my advantage. Ammo Pump just makes the most sense. I think it's a free fake out versus basically every Pokemon. I get to find out if the Rotom is Scarf or Offensive. My Scarf Latios looks really good here too. I should be good versus Weavile with double priority. Well, quad priority really. But like double in terms of dealing with it. I'm thinking like Scissor's Bullet Punch and Lucario's Extreme Speed. Also, why do I have Stone Edge on this? Uh, ooh, what, am I, what am I trying to hit? Oh, Dragonite. Okay. Never mind. But yeah. Anapalm is nice. One of my favorite mods to use. Ooh, I have a I have Fake Out plus Dual Chop for this particular Pokemon. Um, this better kill because this is the only reason I have. Don't have leftovers. Nice. Go for it. Ooh, get that threat out of my face, baby. Get that threat out of my Garchomp gone immediately. Garchomp absolutely gone. You gotta leave it. I know this is, a, this is a, a different type of video, but you gotta leave a life for the homie right there, bro. What? For the homie. Now, Garchomp's only role is to chip this for... Um, for apes, so I should be good here. Yeah, it's only roles to do that. I don't care if Weavile comes out and goes for Throat Chop. I'm physically defensive Scizor, but basically Stealth Rock plus another hit on Infernape and it dies to uh, my my hit from Lucario. So they go for Isaac Crash. This is perfect because I get a nice and little U-turn here as they go Infernape. Oh, I could not have asked for better turns, man. It's like it's like they're just gifting me them here, <laughs> especially because I get rocks up now. Close combat should just be shy of KOing me. And they don't even go for it. It should be real close, but it should not have KO'd me there. So now they're in extreme speed range. Things are looking beautiful. And I get to drop some Dracos as well. Uh, which I think I will go right out into Lottie and do the... Like, I don't see a reason not to. As they trick me. So we both get Choice Scarfs right here. Now I'm going to switch out into Dusnor, anticipating them to want to go Scizor. So I can Fire Punch them. Because they shouldn't let me Draco them for free as they die. That's my thought process there, right? They scared up die. So I am going to, uh, I'm, I'm actually just going to go hard dust north. They Volt Switch, whatever. I know they have a Choice Scarf now. They Thunder Wave, which honestly is still fine because they stayed in. So I get a free Life or Fire Punch. Uh, Life or Fire Punch will put Infernape in range of Shadow Sneak. It will KO Scizor if they bring it out with Stealth Rock. It will KO Weavile. So this is safe. This is hella safe for me. Oh, they go Zam on the Will-O-Wisp. Bro, okay. I'm a Shadow Sneak here. And they died. They weren't even Life Orb. Let's go. I mean, they weren't even Focus Ash. Let's go. Dustnor, first kill of the video. Let's freaking go. Um, I need to be careful around Scizor. I do. But, I mean, my own Scizor is still fine because it won't die. I'll take like 50%, but it won't die. I am always bullet punching. I do not care. Always bullet punching here. Infernape's already low enough as it is. Ooh, you know what? Let's let's make sure this mon dies right now. Let's make sure this mon dies right now. Let's just go Garchomp. As they CC, which means I get to bring out Dusnor, and I'm going to go for Fire Punch, because we know their choice, Ben. I'm a Fire Punch right now. Ideally, they bring out Sizzle. That's what I'm waiting for. They just stay in. Let's get full Paralyze here. That way we don't reveal. Unfortunately, we reveal, but it's fine. Dusnor gets two kills in the first game, which is amazing for me. Weavile comes out. And Palm, I don't think I need it. I still want to keep Scizor alive, though. Hold up. Do I go hard into Lucario and get a boost? No, no, no. That's a bad play because that Scizor is a problem. <laughs> that's a bad play because that Scizor is a problem. Uh, I'm thinking... Hmm. 
What's the best way to go around this? Because my own Scizor can beat their Scizor if they're not SD, if they're Defog, which I think they are. I think I'm just going to get Chip. I would have loved for it to kill the other mom, but I want to make sure Weeva only has one switch in left at, at best. So, free fake out here. Doesn't matter if they go Scizor. I think that's my best play. Knock out Weeva. If they go Scizor, I go hard into Lucario. And if they do Life Orb Brick Break, then at least we know they're Life Orb so they can't heal. Perfect. Beautiful start. Freaking low on the ladder, but whatever. Beautiful, beautiful start. Dustnor did his job. Killed Alakazam. I'll hella take it. I really wish I wasn't paralyzed. I wish they went Scizor that turn. It would have been sick to just fire punch it. But we'll absolutely take that. We got to dual chop with Ammo Pound too, which is the reason why they run fake out plus dual chop. So that's always fun. Um, scary game. Uh, close combat from Troy's Band Lucario though looks insane versus their squad. And I'm loving Ammo Pound. Again, always love Ammo Pound in these type of games. They end up going Heatran as a start. I know they're all flame body, but damn do I want to fake out just in case it's choice. But this is just a better play. We get up rocks. They only have one defogger. And they miss. So this is like best case scenario for me right now. This is best case scenario for me. Because I get up rocks here as Umbreon comes out. And uh, let me tell you something. If they go for foul play instead of Yawn, Lucario's going to come out and click close combat. They go for Yawn, which is unfortunate. However, it means I can go Scizor safely and just click U-turn. As they're going to most likely protect. You're a demon for doing that, by the way. I don't care if they go Lucario. Or excuse me, I don't care if they go U-turn. Uh, if I get burnt, it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I can still deal with Mammoth Swine and stuff because I have a Lucario that just gets to click close combat. And I want you to show me your switchings. Protect there, dude. I'm going to go for it again. I don't care. I guess it would suck if this thing burns me too. But if I get rid of Heatran, that opens up Ambipom a lot. Let's see if we got burnt by this thing too. We did not get left a little present there, thankfully. Awesome. So, I mean, the reason they stayed in is because if this thing SDs, it just wins the game. Very, very easily. We'll make the scissor play just in case they want to sport. Yep, because now we get a slow U-turn on either their... Well, they could be choice, but we get a slow U-turn on their Swords Dance into Latios. Oh, I think they were... That's Life Orb damage? That did a lot, yeah. That is indeed Life Orb. I want to say Fake Out KOs, but I, I don't believe it does. Honestly, though, I'm still going for it. I don't care. I believe in you, bro. I believe in you, hella. You're a good mon. And you flinch something, so... Like, this is good, because I also get chip on Umbreon, too. I should always never lose to Belly Drum Azu, just because I have Fake Out, I have Extreme Speed, and I have Dustnor Sucker Punch, uh, or excuse me, Dustnor Shadow Sneak, which is actually gonna be pretty good in this game, too. So, we're gonna bring out Lucario now. If they Foul Play, I get an Attack Boost. If they go for Wish, that's fine, too. Uh, if I SD here, they could lose, which is why they hard switch into Lottie. Ma took 58%. My god. Leftovers. We'll go Scizor. As they defog. I can get up rocks right after, so I don't really care about that little Draco into defog. Whatever they want to do there, that's fine. I think I'm going to bring you out. And... Uh, Fake out into U-turn is still my best play. Wow, they have zero searches for this. So yeah, I go for this always. <laughs> my god, Amapom, you demon. Why is Amapom putting in so much work? I mean, I think Amapom is just actually decent in this metagame. If it still had Fire Punch and Ice Punch, like if we actually got any home support for whatever, if this game got any support at all, instead of being put on life support and just had Shaman, this game would actually be, first off, it'd be a good remake, in my opinion. Because um, there's so much they could have done with this generation. But yeah, anyway. Uh, they have no switchings to this mon. Like I said, once they... I understand why they did what they did with Heatran. Especially if they're like leftovers Lottie. So, perfect. We just U-turn here. Doesn't matter if they switch out to Azu. Get rid of them. Um, I'm fairly confident the better play is to go Lucario. Because I have E-Speed to KO Breloom. They do go Azu. Uh... If they're going to belly drum, I'd rather let them. Like, I, I kind of want them to belly drum, so so they can be weak. Because guard drum's at 100%, so I'm pretty sure I live as well. They go for play rough there, which is fair. Fake out into my attack. All I have to do is weaken them. Even if it's Sash, Mammoth Swine, then Dust No Win, so... I'm just going to go for Earthquake here as they go Breloom. And I get to get up Stealth Rock. If they Spore, no, who cares? Like... 
It doesn't make a difference. If they mock punch, I'm good too. I just get up Stealth Rock just for Sash Mammal at that point. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. This Mon is not a threat. At all. It doesn't even have Swords Dance. Even Sub Mamoswine isn't a threat. And they're not even leftovers, so I just stay in. They get up Stealth Rock. That's fine. I'm gonna get Chip on them. Or not, because they're Life Orb. Let me tell you who, who gets a kill right now, though. My homie. My homie gets a kill right now. You think there's Thick Fat? You know what? Earthquake is my best play. Oh, and I'm fast with Umbreon, too, so I 2 KO it. I am faster, so I hella 2 KO you. Let's go. 180 speed, baby. Just enough for Scizor. You're not max speed. Man, that don't matter. I'm gonna let the turn play out, too. I'm not even gonna skip turn, because Dustnor is gonna get this kill right here. Give me that. Also, I click Psychic to win the game now, too. Give me that kill. Oh my god, they're, I don't get what they're doing. I mean, I, I do, I guess, but I don't. I mean, they gave me Umbreon, and they're just trying not to lose to Psychic, but they're going to lose to Extreme Speed. Do you even die? Alright, you lucky you died there. But, at the end of the day, still fine. Bring out you. Go for Vague out. They sack Umbreon, they lose to Psychic. They go you, which literally cannot win. I just double hit here. Because we're not going to miss. Look how much that does. And they wear Belly Drum, which they can't even do. Oh, no. And then all I got to do is click Psychic, which knocks them out. Does 48%. Yeah, and that's the power, bro. That's the power of the team. All right, let's try the Mean Look Dust. We didn't really get to use the Elemental Punches, and I know we're about to fight Gliscor for the first time. I'm surprised we avoided Gliscor. Ooh, okay. This is a rain team. I really like, and they're pretty high up on the ladder. They really like their rain team. Um, my mean look set isn't as good here, though, unfortunately. Doom Desire is kind of nice. You know what? I'm going to leave Garchomp and get up Stealth Rock because I'm Choice Scarf, and they can't stop me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to do that, especially because my Breloom goes crazy here. So there's a Taunt, which is fine. It could be a fire move on this. We're going to bring out Mammoth Swan, actually, just because it, it resists everything. I shard them. As I said, the rain. I'll sub up. Just in case they're crazy and do an attack that doesn't help them out. Yep. In the slightest. So now, uh, unless I get like the lowest roll in the world... I've dealt with Aerodactyl, and I get to stall out some rain teams. Now, they do have another Prankster Rain Mon, which is very scary. But this Mon, my Mammoth Swan looked kind of nice, though. Oh, they went Floatzel as well. So I will stall out a few rain turns if I can before knocking out Floatzel. I can stall out one more rain turn, and they only have three left. If I Ice Shard Kingdra, I should be okay. So this should die to Earthquake, and if it doesn't die to Earthquake, it definitely dies to Earthquake plus Ice Shard. Yeah, this is a damn Mammal Swine. Ooh, and I live as well. I get a potentially another sub too versus something. Kingdra comes out. You are going to get chipped right now by the Ice Shard priority. Mm. I think my play is to go out to you and click Protect. And then Doom Desire. And then Wish. Because this will not do any damage. And even if they belly drum on Polyrab, it don't matter. Because sub belly drum just gets beat down by my set. So I just wish protect. Doom desire them. Jirachi just goes crazy. Wish up. Crick can't kill me, but I'm going to go for Doom desire because Crick definitely can't kill me. They should switch to Coolfish. Crick doesn't kill. It does a 60%. So they go Polyrath, which is fine. Um, gonna U-turn here just in case they belly drum exactly. I think Scizor and Bullet Punch is the best play because they're gonna take Doom Desire and then they can die to Mock Punch. Maybe that's the wrong play though. Maybe they also get Drain Punch Recovery, which is something I'm not keeping into account okay they waterfall perfect so they do die to mock punch now Blue. and with that mock punch as they go sableye 
Honestly, Sableye's a threat. <laughs> I'll be real, Sableye, a giant threat. But Mach Punch kills all these guys. I don't think you can fit both Rain Dance, Recover, Will O Wisp, and Taunt. Well, they managed to fit Taunt, but they definitely are. I think I'll be okay, maybe? Because I have Curse for Quillfish. I U turn here, 100% of the time. Because if they Will O Wisp, then I can. I mean, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Basically. Basically, it doesn't matter, because I go Garchomp if they go out into these guys. If they go any of these guys, I mock Punch them. Jirachi putting in some work here, bro, with that Protect as well. Put just a little bit of work. It'd be great if they went... Sucker Punch, what the hell? I don't know what to expect now. I'm just going to click Bullet Seed. That's fine, this will die to... This should die to the combination of this plus Doom Desire. I didn't even get to get my Doom Desire off, which is unfortunate. You come out. I think I sack you and win the game with... Uh... I'm going to just curse up here, just in case they randomly switch. Protect once. They go Polyrath. Protect again. Simply sack. I'm gonna U-turn. You don't get Ice Punch. You don't get Ice Punch at the moment, so I think I just go Garchomp. I don't think it's a choke. Yep, because they have to switch, exactly, and try and get up the rain. So I think I just win. Air Balloon doesn't exist at the moment either. What? <laughs> you trying you try to make that Quillfish survive? You think I'm not gonna click Earthquake on it? Good game. Not oh, bad, bro. Team put in work. Didn't really get to use Dustnor in this one. The Shadow Sneak would have been fire to have at the end. But uh Let's see if we can get uh let's see if we can get another one with it. That was a really cool rain team, by the way. That was a super cool OU rain team. It was very nice to see. They had a lot of they had a decent amount of points. Actually they had a lot of points, for sure. Especially with their team. That's cool. Encore on Polyrath is really interesting because it gives you a free chance to village I like that a lot. Um, okay, so definitely the wrong, I would think the wrong team in this one. The offensive four attack one would be a lot better, especially because they have priority and stuff like that. But, how do I want to do this? I do want to try and get up rocks as, uh, just to chip them in range of this, but I have to be, actually I shouldn't do that because I have to keep you healthy. Uh, so we're going to lead Jirachi and just U-turn on this guy. I have to keep um, Garchomp healthy for Lucario and Azu and everything. Oh boy. <laughs> Just gonna U-turn here, save his play as they go Garchomp. My own Garchomp I think is the best play here too. We're simply gonna click Dragon Claw. If they go Azu, I bring out Scizor. This isn't, this doesn't even let me help. Why'd I go this? Why'd I not go Mamoswine? That was a misplay on my part. That was a huge misplay on my part. I should have always went, okay, I've been blessed because I almost got unblessed, basically. I really think Dustnor can live one hit from Scissor at the end, so I'm just gonna make the Scissor play. I made the wrong play there anyway, so. They go for Play Rough here. They are, I just U-turn always anyway on Lucario. Perfect. Always bring out Garchomp. I'm gonna click Stealth Rock like a demon. There we go. Okay, so that was a free Stealth Rock turn. That's what we like to see. So now we can go out to you. They go for Psychic. I just click Doom Desire because I'm special defensive. My boy eats that up for days. Gonna protect. Even if they go for Nasty Plot, who cares? Perfect. And now they die to U-turn plus Doom Desire. Ooh, or something else comes in and takes the Doom Desire. I don't mind it being Scizor. It is Scizor, so that means I can go Dustnor. Now, they hopefully they're slow, Scizor, and they don't expect the fast Fire Punch, which is what I'm gonna go for. I took a lot. They're not slow scissor at all. Whatever, I still go for fi uh, Fire Punch anyway. <laughs> it's still my best play, right? Like, they were not slow at all. They were fast. Like, that, that just looks offensive. I took 36% from a Doom Desire from no investment on. Right, relax. Anyway, once we get rid of the... The Azu... I mean, they still have Latios and stuff, but Mock Punch is still looking good. 
This mod is a pain for them to deal with, period. This mod's a hella big pain for them to deal with, huh? I really wish I was the... the we're not fighting what I want to mean look, because I want to mean look fat mons, and then... Like, I really wish I was this set, but... We're, I want to mean look the fat mons, that way they can't go anything, and that pain split curse them, and then they're, you know... It just does a lot for me. Hmm. I think I curse this. Just to keep them low. Yep. And then if they stay in... I can kill them with Jirachi's attack next turn. No, 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 I gotta go Mamma after. I pain split here though, just in case they switch randomly. Yup, yup, yup. Let's go, Young Dusnor. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, this is one of the mods I needed to mock punch. So that's perfect. That's one of the mods. I, how'd you know I didn't? I didn't have Shadow Sneak, dude. Like, in what world didn't I have Shadow? I guess. I guess I'm a ghost type. <laughs> Ooh, and I burnt the Azu too. Let's go. Ah, let's curse that Azu before I leave. Yo, this this mock punch is gonna go crazy. I know their belly drum. Yep. We go you because we can wish up. We can wish up once. You. I think it's the play. Doom Desire might have been better, but they... Okay, they stayed in New Waterfall, so we're good. They die to Curse. I'm gonna go for Doom Desire. Because they die to Curse plus Burn. So it'll be a double down, and I still have a Doom Desire in the back, chilling. Yup. Yup. Nice. Scizor. I uh, gotta be very careful, because I don't want Scizor in. I think I go because we're super close to mock punch winning. Well, is mock punch winning more feasible than outrage? I think outrage winning is actually more feasible. Let me let me just go Brelum because I can get a, I can get a mock punch off here. If they fire move or outrage, good play. So they go down there the doom desire, which is nice. Um, I always bring out Garchomp. I always 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 bring out Garchomp here, which KOs. That mon. Nope, they go you. Which means I'm forced to go Jirachi. We're going to go for a Doom Desire here. We're going to U-turn. Because Doom Desire's up, I can actually afford to go Scizor, I think. Because Doom Desire's up, I can actually afford to go Scizor. Because it's going to do it's going to do a decent chunk to Lucario if I bullet punch it after. I th I'm, I'm like trying to position this. Really well, because I get a Doom Desire coming out this turn. So yeah, I just bullet punch you. I bullet punch you for chip. If you SD, that's fine. If they take the close combat, they get the minus one, and they get the Doom Desire this turn. So they, there's no way they can live. Yep, yep. And then we Outrage Sweep. That's what I'm going for. I believe we Outrage Sweep, if that's the case. Oh my god, Doom Desire doing a thing. My homie put in work, too. We're going to U-turn here. As they Brick Break. Scarf Lottie would be the only problem. No, it would not at all, actually. I just win the game with Mammal. So yeah, we just go right for Dragon Claw here to be safe. Get rid of Azelf. Mammal's Ice Shard knocks us die out, so this guy's Scarf, that's fine. I literally just click Ice Shard twice, and I win the game. Because Scizor has to bullet punch me to attack me. Oh my god. Dude, Doom Desire Jirachi. I love that the entire team is coming together every single time. Like, the entire team put in work there. I love that. Wasn't really able to use Mean Look, but that's fun. Maybe I need to use it on another team. But I love that the entire team is going to ask if I can borrow Fridge Light for a moment. Yeah. You good? What the hell? My boy's asking me to borrow my Fridge Light. <laughs> is he going to... Am I about to get pumped? <laughs> is something about to happen to me? I don't know what's about to happen to me, but damn, does Amapom look good here? Uh, give me like 15 minutes, bro. What the hell? 
He about to say something dumb. He about to say something. I know something dumb about to come out. Anyway, uh, we fake out you. Oof, that is defensive, which means it is a problem. Uh, that's actually a big problem versus me, man. And Ammo Pump's so good here, I can't sack it. I do not want to bring in Lottie on a knockoff. Scizor. Okay. Let me Swords Dance. As they go that, that's fine. We're going to Bullet Punch for some chip. I was so, basically I'm so weak to that like to that Dawn fan that I'm an SD or that I, that I felt like I had to do this play oh my god this month's a goat bro oh never mind it was a goat for a sec it was a goat for a second this gives them Crawdon though so maybe this was a misplay but I still like this play anyway <laughs> I still like this play anyway just let me know when I'm stop better okay here bro got you sorry I'm like distracted which is 100% influencing my play here uh, they get to crab hammer if I can get up rocks. Maybe I can win this game from this position. I don't know. The game just gets really hard from this position. No. I don't know if they knock off or crab hammer. That's the thing. I think I have to make the call, and I make the call that they knock off. If they crab hammer, they, they got me. Okay, good. Oh, it doesn't matter because they're they're uh, <laughs> they're life orb anyway. Uh, but at least I get the plus one, get the plus one chip on them, which is nice. Gonna U-turn here, because Fake Out obviously has higher priority, and they probably go out to that. Yep. Let's go for Fire Punch. Maybe they think they can get a fast U-turn off versus me, because Dustnor's slow. Exactly. Let's go. Look at Dustnor go, baby. Hell yeah. I would much rather... Oh, and they die too? Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I get to go Ampom now. Because I think I Psychic in Game Sweep, but I'm not 100% sure. We fake out, and then we U-turn. That's fine. We get up Stealth Rock here. They Hydro, ISD. He gives me the best chance of beating Dawn Fan. Actually, maybe they maybe they go hard Dawn Fan now. Oh, they just went for Protect. That's fine. I think I kill them with Draco after. I think I get a kill with Draco. I stone edge anyway. Let me be safe. Draco time, baby. Because I'm trying to Ice Beam Endgame, obviously, right? Like, Ice Beam Endgame is my play. I'm on dies. Perfect. Okay. Gonna fake out you. Gonna U turn here. I, maybe they have. Maybe I just choke if they have E speed. If they have E speed, I lose. But best case is they're not E speed. And they're just Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Fire Punch. Ah, uh, I just lost. If it was like Bandit, I don't know if I can beat that anyway, but. Oh my god! They just threw by not clicking E speed for no reason. Good game. They just hella threw by not clicking E speed. Holy crap. All right, let me go for one more. I, I was I was really distracting. Like I, I was obviously like my friend texted me, so the, the little emergency. So I go for one more. No Johns though, obviously. I, I'm sure I kind of cleaned up that end game a little bit, but one by real quick. Yeah. All right, this is the offensive Dustnor game that we love to see. Let's lead off with it because it's a fun one. Shoot, we could lose them on the crowd if we lead off with it, but you know what? We're gonna do it anyway because we want to get it. One, we want to get it to get one and two. Infernape lead. Gonna ice punch immediately into what I'm hoping to be Gliscor coming in. Actually, yeah, because I wouldn't Willow this, right? I might go for Earthquake. They went Crawdon, which was fair. Um, knockoff makes a lot of sense. I should actually keep you alive. Amapom is less useful than it was in most games. There we go, we bring out you. Just CC to be safe, because this mon's a threat. Then we get up rocks here with this Pokemon. <laughs> um, get up rocks with you. 
as you get up rocks, it's fine too. Yeah, so we get up rocks, so we chip away at that. It's gonna allow Dustnor to, oh, that's gonna really allow Dustnor to put in work. Let's go. Obviously, Clef is annoying. But you get that. I mean, I did lose Amapon, which kind of sucks, but like, it's not the end of the world. Oh, they Draco up there too. I didn't think they Draco considering I could easily go Scizor, but Scizor still 6 0s them. Like, Scissor still straight up 6 0s them. Gonna make the Dutch North play here. Uh, even though they can go Clef, I'm, I'm still gonna try and catch Scizor. Hey! It never fails, baby! It never fails. So, a game that doesn't look like I can win just becomes possible. Especially because we get the chip on this guy. Alright, so now we can go out to you and click Banded uh, Meteor Mash, I think. Yeah, because it'll, it'll 2 a KO Glass Square. Please land. Please land. Please land. Thank you. Okay, so this mod looks hella good now. Infernape comes out. I'm literally going to make it come down to me. You know what? I always go you. It's fine. You're my play, and you're always my play. I'm going to double out into this so I get a kill. This should be a guaranteed kill with Meteor Mash on something. Well, if they give me Clef, I can also Draco endgame, so that's what I'm going for as well. Maybe they'll go, maybe they'll make the, uh, maybe they'll make the, the Infernape play. But, I feel like... I'm gonna go Scizor. If they Flare Blitz, then it's a double down, right? So I can Meteor Mash. Well, BP's free. BP is indeed free. It two Akio's crawled on. I don't have to predict here. BP's hella free. They're minus one. So BP is free. Assuming this kills at minus one, because I mean it is an Infernape. It is an Infernape. After all. I'm just definitely screwing up my endgame, but. I still BP. Like I lived it. I, it wasn't worth. It wasn't worth jetting just because BP does so much to everything. Yeah. So now I can psychic, which is good. I mean, especially if they go Latios next, which I think they have to. Oh no, I'm an Ice Beam end game for sure. Uh, I'm not sure why they went for Wish. There's no freaking way, bro. They're gonna lose. To, they're still gonna lose to Psychic. I'm telling you. Actually, they're gonna lose to E Speed. <laughs> they're gonna lose to E Speed. Like, all you're doing is giving me chip on this Lottie. I bring out you. I click Psychic. As they give me Clefable. Yeah, and then they lose the E-Speed. So, that's a guaranteed E-Speed game. Let's go. Okay, we ended it on a win, which is what I wanted to do. That's Specs Lottie, 100%. In front of it, it's Scarf, so it can't beat me. E-Speed killed everything anyway, but like, now it's guaranteed one. If there's Scarf Lottie, they don't kill in for, uh, Lucario anyway, but I, I knew these people would KO it. Good game. Banded Lucario went crazy. You too. Banded Lucario. Banded Lucario actually went crazy in this game, bro. Woo! And Dustnor fire punching scissors. Oh my god. I actually legitimately think Dustnor was nice. I, th I think we could have went undefeated today, man. I hate having, like, I hate, I hate having, like, regret in a battle. Like, I really do. But, we live and we learn from it. I'll rewatch the game and see what I could have done differently as well. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed, though. I think Dustmore put in a lot of work. I think the both teams put in a lot of work. Unfortunately, we didn't really... We did get to make use of actually that curse set. We did, because we kept Azu uh, low, but we just kept fighting offense. We weren't fighting anything that the curse mean looks at was supposed to do. But, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Also, they've been working on, like... They've been, like, cutting trees next to us. And... They started like at 6 a.m. Now, I know you got to do your job, but damn, do I wish they started like at 9 a.m. Because I feel like 6 a.m. is way too early. They start chopping trees. And they've been chopping trees between 6 to 11. But man, uh, so I'm, I'm exhausted. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.